This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valorant right back here with another episode of Odin Sphere, Lothros here. In the last episode, we went to Titania to see if we could get the wise men to help us to get to the underworld. Unfortunately, they were never going to help us at all. And Bel Belador decided... Belador? Belador? Whatever. The wizard decided not to help us and... Uh, fought us in his true form. One of the few unique I'm sorry actually. about that. I can't let myself be captured this time. Oh no, is something wrong? Grandpa, I cannot take you to the netherworld. Will you be angry with me if I leave you here? I assume, uh, I assume Grandpa's just in a dear return, like maybe he was around since she was younger or something like that. Most likely. Ah, there's the there's the scamp himself got turned into a puka. Curse, huh? I'll never return to my human form. What in heavens has he done to me? Beldor, you shall lead me to the Netherworld. Fine, I don't care. Oh yeah, we also found out that the frog was actually Velvet's twin brother, uh, Ingwe. I wonder, I wonder, is that like, is that how we? Where he was half the game through Cornelius' story, or was he an impot, or was the Velvet uh, Ingwe and Velvet story an imposter? I guess we'll never know. Have no fear. I shall make sure that he does not escape. Well, I don't know. Have you seen Cornelius? They're pretty agile. Did you go to Titania? My cousin told me you did. Great, you guys conversate or uh, conversation travels faster than I do apparently. Actually, I don't think he did he have anything new that I bought. I, I, well, I think I do, was it the detox charm I bought from. Actually, I may not have bought anything, but yeah, I already did a uh, food grinding and, uh, and money grinding off screen, so that's why I'm a little bit higher level. Now. Your Majesty, I shall gladly fight to the death with honor and pride for my country. But my paladin troops have succumbed to the Demon Lord's cipher. If I attack without a sound battle plan, it will be difficult. It is kind of cool that the knights of the fairies are unicorns. I don't know, there's just something cool about that. Oh, hey, it's a frog. Oh, it's not Ingwe, though. Ingwe? I'm so stupid. He's already a human. Ingwe. Man, now she misses him, and yet she was just so annoyed that he was a frog trying to get a kiss. He didn't even want the kiss for any any sexual reason. It was just he heard that a kiss from a fairy would break his spell. That's all it was. But, you know, Japanese RPG hijinks. But, all right. Looks like Mercedes needs to get to the... Oh, she's going to get to the underworld now that Bell, Beldor will take us despite being a puka form. What will happen in the underworld? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Chapter 5. We are now in the realm of the Queen of the Dead. This is the Netherworld. If this is all you want, let me go now. Now do you understand how that dragon felt? I'll have you accompany me until we find Brom. Melvin ordered me to bring him here. That is all. I know not where he is. Why not ask that spirit over there? What? Would it respond to me? Um, can I ask a question? Do you know of Brom, the blacksmith who was brought here? Nothing. In oh. palace, the dwarf who designs jeweled weapons, the queen is keeping him there. Thank you. It seems Brahm is safe. Beldor? Well, I'm not frightened. I can do this alone. How can I be in this shape? And strut around where the hall are lurking. Huh. 
if they ever find me. Oh. It seems that there have been many fools wandering the abyss of death lately. These cursed souls also enter the Queen's realm without fear. By queenly decree, I go through the undead to find Brom the blacksmith. Well, it looks like Beldor has been succumbed to the the Halia. Um, good, uh, good, uh, bad news. Wait, was it good news for bad rubbish or something? What's the term? Am I mixing that up? I think I am. Good news to bad rubbish. Yep, we're uh, we're finally back to the underworld again. Someone seems to have a take a part in this place. <laughs> Wait, isn't Mercedes a queen? Why didn't she just ask one of her like attendants to come with her, or even just uh, hire someone else? You know, just like, hey, you're a hero. You go to the underworld and get brought back. But I guess she's still in that phase where she's she feels like she has to do everything herself. I guess I don't know. If that's the best explanation I can give. Oh, you can tell that Mercedes is growing up quite quickly, being forced to basically be in all this convers- uh, being in all these situations. I'm still curious about what will happen to Ingwe. I think if I remember correctly, we- I think we do see Ingwe near the end of the game, but, like, that's it, though. Okay. We have to- we have to wait till later to find out more about him. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot this place uh, gave me a lot of bones, so if you need to make, uh, your, uh, uh, uh I think it's the they can make the drain or the uh Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, there we go. Even though I didn't need apparently there was nothing under there. I wasted there once. But uh yeah the boats I think make the uh the uh can make the potion where you can basically get uh bosons for food to drop on the ground. It's actually a pretty good ability if you uh if you grind it for food and you have a lot of food that you don't need to make with the chest anymore, or you don't care to, then you can just drop a bunch of them down, use the potion to get like a ton of Pokemon. That's how I almost maxed out Cornelius' uh, uh, skill tree almost. Like, I was really close to maxing it out. I mean, I'll, I'll still probably do it off screen whenever I get a chance. I haven't really uh, uh, gone down to do that yet, though. Alright, let's keep exploring around. Oh, yeah, we have to be able to. We also have to check and make sure to keep a, uh, a, a blip of the, uh, let's see, here, completion, uh, the skill, let's okay. get land of the dead, beyond, even beyond the candle holder, so we'll have to keep that in mind, because yeah, I forgot about the secret of this place, so, alright, keep, look, keep a look out for a candle holder. Although I have plenty of apples from like respawning through, you know what? Maybe in the future I think I might might skip doing the uh, fruit, uh, the rose, the rosinelli places because I've basically um, gotten like a lot of fruit from just like grinding other areas. Or I have poison. Areas. Yeah, he repeats itself. So, oh well. Oh, we got a new recipe: shrimp doria in the area. Uh, any items I can equip? Oh, we got a new spirit stone. We'll. Uh, Buy one of those, why not? Clip leader collection. That we don't really need, but maybe. Of course I have it, I guess. Shrimp Doria, huh? Shrimp and cheese. Oh, if it was only that simple to make that uh, uh, delicious meal out of shrimp and, and shrimp, uh, sh uh, shrimp and cheese. Actually, that sounds kind of gross to me. Now that I think about it. Never mind, I don't want that. <laughs> then again, I am a very picky eater. Uh, why? I don't know. I just am. Maybe it's just because of how I... And I, I can't even say uh, how I was raised because they tried to... Uh, my parents tried to make me different types of food, but for some reason I just kept going back to either crappy foods or... Anyway, get some salmon... Esh, eskabesh? Eskabesh? Something like that? But, uh... I don't know. I think maybe it's just some weird... Or maybe it's because I ate so much cheap food that now I can't, I, that, like, rich food or, you know, enriched food or whatever, it just doesn't taste good. 
or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just spoiled. Uh-oh. Ah! Forgot about the sexy ghost. Take that, sexy ghost. Your boobalicious attitude will not save you from my crossbow. And the fact that I'm a girl, so... Unless Mercedes have you... Uh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Shouldn't assume all female characters have that, have that, uh, uh, idea. Nope, nope, that would be cool. Get your head out of the gutter, man. Coming in the sunlight. Oh, no. Ah, man, I hit A right. Man, these ghosts are kind of a pain in the butt. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, hurry up! Ah! b rank No! Okay, seriously, they're annoying. Me. Oh, that sucks. Wow, that is terrible. I got a b rank I haven't gotten a b rank ever! You know what, I'll just... I'll redo that level off screen. I don't really care about, like, an s rank really. <laughs> I just need the foes on Prism. That's all I care about. Alright, what do we get for doing this? The Banshee's Call, huh? Okay. Uh, summon a small, small spirit that fires ricocheting magic bolts. Another summon creature. <laughs> well, I, I said in the previous, uh, during Gwendolyn and Cornelius' story that Mercedes seemed to be all about her minions and her, and her soul, and her subjects, so, uh, I guess her abilities to be able to do that as well makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's keep it. Exploring, but it makes sense you just keep summoning people to help her. Okay, it looks like it's going to be one of those maps where we're going to have to explore before we can, uh, uh, get to the boss. It's not going to too long, but, uh, we'll keep going and see what my time's like. I might not go as long as I did last time. Uh-oh. Oh, the Holly, uh, you're back, huh? I won't be, I won't be taking, I won't be taking to, uh, uh, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot he kept, uh, it's been so long since I fought that I forgot to evil sometimes to get back. Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on. Okay, why is my ability... I keep pressing the side and A. I'll do that one. Oh, he's 
be used more money. Now we gotta to drop off all. Oh, I knew it. Oh wait, no, we get, we get, we get. Wait, are we supposed to get a? Oh no, it's up there. Dang it. Ugh. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. We can just eat. We can eat that. Why not? Oh wait, no, that gives us something. But we can mix it together with the material and make a, make something else. So we, we can still get rid of it. I think it actually makes juggle, if I remember correctly. Uh, actually, we'll just make some minimal because I forgot we had, a, we had a, a lot of bones. So. Okay, now we can go get the bag. And we won't have to worry about immediately dropping everything off. I thought I dropped everything off before when I was at the rest area, but I must have forgotten to do that. I seem to do that quite often. Give me that. Ooh, those crystals are going to be... Might be a good place to get a post. Uh, uh oh. More ghosts. The game hasn't dropped me any shines, you know. I can't really, like. You have to come over here. Okay, and get closer. Come on, get closer. Get closer to the dude. That's why I hate the ghosts. Place. Look at that, I'm not even be I'm not even gonna get a I'm not getting an S rank because of that. Maybe that was it. No, no, those guys. Well the the uh they've always the ghosts have always seemed to give me the most problems when it comes to uh um get good ranks from them, so thanks for that game. Oh well. Not a big deal. I mean all it is I found out really in the end all it does is, is it just affects reward. That's all it does. It doesn't, it doesn't even really affect uh, uh, like really the area completion ability for the most part. So we don't even have to. Oops. Man, so many bones. Gotta get rid of them all. Look at all the bones! I think I can squeeze another episode out of that. I don't know. I, I'm not trusting myself with this one. I may have to extend the level again because it's not that much bigger, you know? I wonder if I should just uh, just get to the boss as quickly as I can. Although, we are almost out of time. Well, I'll figure something. I'll just keep playing until I feel otherwise. Because every time it, it always seems like I get really close to it, and then when I finish the level, I'm already like 30 minutes into it. Which, if I was doing a weekend recording, that'd be fine, but since I'm doing these regular ones, I wanted to kind of keep them in a 22 minute format if I can. That's another mid boss. Oh, this guy again. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh man, that ability really, really works. It might not be the most powerful ability in her weapon swap, but it's definitely a, a, a chain encounter, which is good for. Like, uh, it's good for a, a, the a skill ability that requires combos to do more damage, you know what I mean? Yeah, get back here, you. A fat sack of whatever you want. Look at that, look at all those combos, man. Crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, let's just keep blasting all these. I know, I could be using other abilities and skills, but- Oh! God, that's gross. Ugh, sick! Man, at certain point, even though, yeah, I am a bit overleveled, but you gotta admit that at some point, that there's just tough enemies that just can't- and can't, can't, even at weaker levels, I'd still be able to, like, affect this guy pretty- pretty strongly, you know, with my combos. Oh, I think that's a key, right? Yeah, that'll, I think that'll get us to the Queen of the Dead. What? I'm, I'm full of Napple Seeds, too? Are you kidding me? Okay, do we have a rest stop soon? Okay, we can actually pick up rewards. As long as we don't leave the area completely, we can actually... Uh, um, we can actually still go back and get them. I think the only difference is if it's food, there's a chance it might be, like, a... Uh, uh, 
rotted by the time you get back to it, so obviously you, you won't be getting a, uh, a, uh, whatever you originally intended, which, weirdly enough, rotted food tends to give you more HP and experience, but for some reason, it, uh, it, it does. It, oh, it gives you more HP and more experience for eating rotten food. It just takes longer. So it's almost like, why, why not wait till you food rots, but the thing is, most of the chef recipes require you to uh, have fresh food, so at least I haven't seen any recipes that require, um, oh, you know, the secret mentioned something about, uh, about a, uh, a lone dude, oh, there we go, uh, oh yeah, I haven't been using that ability throughout Mercedes, uh, a story. Remember the R1 to dodge ability? Yeah, I haven't been using that one either. Whoops. Yeah. What can you do? That's just how I've been playing it. Anyway, we get a Fozon Prism for our efforts. What do we get? Come on, show me the money. Show me the money. We get skill. I think that that's the one where we can chain up skills to get more damage. Yeah. Definitely want that. I'll go ahead and max that out. I think I have enough foes on for that, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Those abilities seem to be the most useful when it comes to damage. And after that, the only one we need is uh, finishing the level to get the uh, foes on for that. So let's go back to the rest stop, and I guess we'll call that a uh, uh, finish, I think, because uh, pretty close to time. we still got a few more rooms. Then we got the, the trial, so we should be good on be able to get a decent length episode next time. I could have rushed it again, but I, like I said, I don't have like, I don't like having really long episodes if I can help it. At least not on this one. But anyway, looks like Mercedes has more stuff to do. She's got more undead to cleanse, and Brom is still missing in this whole place, and Baylor has left her all alone. So the queen is a queen without a country in this place, because the dead care not who you are, because be it queen or pauper, you end up in this place nonetheless. Steal yourself, Mercedes, for the next episode of Odin Sphere Lothrosier. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.